Absolutely. That is, like, very important to me. I feel like, you know, a lot of times music can it, – it can be about anything, which is exciting, but I want mine to say something, and especially to girls. We need somebody to, like, speak up for them right now, especially in country music. So – Um, I think Cool Girl, definitely, obviously. I mean, it has, like, a really big message, but um, I have a little niece, and I'm watching her grow up, and I have two of them, actually, and watching them grow up and seeing the things that they kind of go through, it's just um, girls need a role model, and I, it's, it's important to me, and I was once that girl that really, you know, was trying hard to be someone that I wasn't just to fit in, and, yeah, everybody goes through it, but you don't have to be the cool girl, you know, you just got to be yourself, so. Uh, it's different. Songwriting process is different for me um, every time I write a song. Sometimes a melody will come with to me in the shower, which happens more often than not. And I literally will grab my phone and, like, sing it in the shower. I'm like, I hope I don't ruin my phone. Um, but so that will happen. Occasionally I'll just get a title and I'll go in and, you know, it just falls out. It, it's different every single day. A lot of times I sit on my garage band and I'm just coming up with fun little grooves and I'll – all right to that so you know I have my little my little group that I go to um, I feel like especially to write songs that really are trying to say something you have to be vulnerable and so I have the people that I really feel like I can be that with and I always call on them to say hey guys I have this idea are you willing to go there with me and they always are so I'm thankful for that The house that built me, easily, easily. Well, I, I think back because I grew up in, in this house we, for 16 years until my, my parents split up. And I every time I go home, I drive by that house. And when that song came out, lost it. Lost it. So I, I feel like I could have, you know. Crossroads. It's funny that you asked me this because I was thinking about it the other day. My number one choice would have been Katy Perry, but that was that one's already been taken. Um, my favorite singer, pop singers, I think, are uh, Celine Dion. Might have to go with Jesse J though, which I think would be so cool. Yeah. Um, honestly. I like to go to TJ Maxx, and I like to go in the home goods section and look at all of their stuff. I could spend hours in there. I really could. So I do that. Um, I take my dog to the dog park. Um, sometimes I sit and watch Netflix all day. <laughs> you know, don't we all? Uh, you know, we don't really have too much time here. I want to go to the beach. I'm a beach girl, but um, I don't think we're going to get to do that. So just singing my tail off the whole time. Um, I grew up cross-eyed. <laughs> yes! My ear okay, no, you totally should because I think it's the most hilarious picture ever. Yeah, I grew up cross-eyed. Uh, had I had uh, a lazy eye, and when I was four years old, had surgery, and they had to overcross my eyes so that they would eventually <laughs> grow back. <laughs> Sometimes I go a little cross-eyed, and people are like, "Are you okay? Are you like stroking out on me?" I'm like, "Nope, it's normal." <laughs> so amazing. I love Chris. I'm I I was a fan of him before I I got to meet him and. Uh, he was he was so sweet to take me out, and he has been so amazing. And all of his band guys, his crew, they have been so nice to me. I could not be more thankful. Yes. Well, I'm writing a ton right now, and I'm hopefully going to be, you know, putting something out, some new music out within the next month, year, whatever. So just be expecting some really exciting new fun songs. Awesome. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.